This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hi team, um, this is Mohan. Um, first of all, welcome to our YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to discuss how to set up a pipeline, sorry, how to set up a workflow to push a one Docker image into Docker Hub. Okay, so that is what our actual aim. So today we're going to achieve that. Okay, so first we can create a different uh, folder. Actually, you know, just before I fix that issue. So that one, which is Docker hyphen pipeline. So I'll just create a new uh, pipeline. Sorry, new uh, repo. Um, uh, let's give it as um, Docker Hub Workflow. Docker Hub Workflow. So like that, I give one name and uh, so read me my read me file not not so that we can directly create it. Okay, fine. We successfully created the files. So first, what I'm going to do. I'm going to add the workflow actions. Okay, so first I'm going to add the workflows. Okay, so here just look on this. Here a lot of workflow is that um, RM is we have to push one image into Docker Hub. That is what RM. So let's search the Docker. Since Docker related uh, uh, pipeline script, sorry, Docker related uh, pipeline scripting will come over. Um, Docker image. Actually, no, we're gonna uh, publish one thing, but I'm not going to use this exact syntax. So, okay, not only for choosing the Docker uh, existing workflow. Okay, so if you want to edit new lessons, you can edit it. That's your wish. Um, let's scroll it. Um, okay, so here are lots of code is there. I'll explain you. Uh, now we can save it. Oh, go to default branch. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so here we can see this is what our default code, but I'm not going to use this. Uh, I already have a code, so that I'll just pick the code. Uh, let's go to repository. So I'll just uh, copy the, first I'll copy the docker file uh, content. Mm. Let's paste the new file. Create new file, then paste your content. Okay, so here we can see which is nothing. Okay, so first it's going to pull the one to latest image and then it's going to update the packages and then nginx configuration, start and then uh, directory creation, directory changing working, working directory session and then uh, exposing that uh, port. Okay, so this basic activity. Okay, so to expose an image in the sense, sorry, to expose the application in container in the sense, these are all the uh, prerequisites, right? So that thing I defined here. Uh, now we can uh, define the docker file okay so content you know name should be like this okay so if you define define uh, different name this is, this uh, pipeline will not execute so let's commit it okay so we successfully define that docker file so first uh, we can pick a workflow for workflow code from my existing repo um this one i think yeah so I'll just pick a code from this existing workflow. Let's copy it and paste it into our new repo. Okay, so don't worry about the codes. These are all public repo. Okay, so you can pick our code uh, anytime. So let's edit it. So let's uh, remove these unwanted things. Okay. Okay. So here we can see if you put any activity, if you're pushing any activity, you do it in this main branch in the sense in that time only this workflow will run. 
so that is what this property and then jobs okay so where this pipeline should run okay so by default you now it will be in ubuntu latest so that we can leave it and then uh, check uh, check out thing after that just look on this set up a docker build x okay so but uh, uh, yeah it's, a, it's just a basic configuration so that you know we can leave it um then coming to our part okay so basic setup things you know you configured into this place let's come into docker image okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a one new docker file okay just a shell command i'll, I'll directly put the shell command into this area okay so i don't want to customize anything you can simply directly put the uh, image sorry directly put the shell command here this will work okay so if you are going to uh, create an image using the docker file in your local machine runs in that time also you have to use the same command docker build hyphen t um, your image name and then dot dot means uh, docker in the same directory of uh, our uh, repo right so that i'll just specify it as a dot okay so if it is in a in, um, if it is in a different different folder in the sense in that time i need to specify the location okay so after that here what i did log into docker hub okay so log into docker hub means if success success means once the above thing got uh, successfully completed in the sense after that only this stage will execute okay so that is what this line this line shows then coming to run part here i executed sorry here i uh, configured one command which is docker log okay so generally if you guys are all using a docker in your local machines in the sense in that time we have to use docker login right similarly here also but uh, here what i did i'll just store those credentials in the secrets okay so what is that secret in the sense that itself uh, we can store a uh, confidential detail confidential credentials okay so for example uh, docker docker uh, credentials uh, virtual machine credentials uh, cloud computing credentials microsoft 365 whatever okay so you can store it into the place once you upload it into the secret in the sense you can't see okay so others can't see if you want to edit it in the sense that existing password will automatically remove you can't see the existing password okay there is no weak point to see the credentials once you updated your credential lessons that is the you know first and last time so let's you know uh, execute this and then coming to um, last part last stage okay so first stage is for uh, what uh, it builds one image for you using our docker file after that it logins with the docker hub after that it uh, push the docker image to Docker Hub. Okay, so here we can see here we have to tag. Okay, so image two, uh, then uh, RAM twenty two repo one, and then uh, image one. Okay, so what this two image represents in the sense, which image you gonna tag? Okay, so we already created one image here, right? That image I need to specify. After that, here we can see one directory is that RAM. 22 2003 has slash repo one like that on directory location is there um docker hub here i created the directory here you can see this is what our directory just before i created the directory but i am not going to existing directory okay so i'll show you how we can create a directory so after that here i'll define one new name okay so you can define any name for example new image whatever that's your wish okay so after that once you once you tag once you tag this image to this you you can push okay you can push same name should be here hmm so let's uh committed but i am not going to use the same repo so i just create a new repo uh, repo name will be repo 2 okay so repo 2 is what my actual uh, repository name 
I'm, I'm just going to specify it as a public. Okay, so if it is in a private in the sense, in that time, your credential will work. Um, fine, let's uh, keep it as a private. So if you are going to push your image in a public repo, in the sense, it's credential leader. So you can directly use. Without credential, you can uh, push. Fine, uh, let's uh, configure the other, let's see the other things. So what's our directory name? This is what our directory name, right? So RAM 2203, sorry, RAM 2200003, which is our username. And then repo2, this is what our actual uh, repo name. Repo2 is our actual repo name. So let's copy the URL. So sorry, just copy the path and then put it here. Mm. Okay. Let's copy the directory and then we can paste the same thing to here. Okay. So after that, nothing to do here. So let's save this file. Okay. So let's save this file. We successfully defined the workflow and then we successfully define the docker file also so which one i missed the secrets i need to store okay so docker password and then docker username i need to create one secret i need to create one secret first of all so let's create that first so where you can create in the sense in the settings there is an option uh, for creating a credentials oh sorry i mistakenly picked the deploy keys Let's see the secrets. Let's create a new repository. Okay, sorry, new uh, secret. Okay, sir. Here we need to specify the repo name, sorry, uh, username. That's mandatory. Don't worry about the credential. Okay. So, you know, uh, once you update it in the sense, others can't see. You also can't see. If you want to edit it in the sense, you have to give the new password after. That is what, you know, uh, actually we can perform here. Okay, so let's define the password. Um, what's our... Uh, um, I didn't remember the... Just a minute. Docker password. Okay. Okay. So sometimes if you put any wrong case or wrong letter, something like that, if you put put mistaken in the sense, uh, this flow will not work properly. So that I'll just copy the thing. Let's save it. Okay. So just a minute. I'll just stop my stream. Okay, so security I need to for security purpose I'll just put the password. Okay, Docker password. Okay, so it's successfully updated. Docker username and then Docker password. Docker password. These two things I updated. So let's see the workflow, how it works. Um, yeah, actually, you know, here there was an error. So let's check. Rerun all jobs. Let's see. Let's open it. Okay, so actually, you know, this will take some time. So we have to wait. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so checkout repository that stage got completed. Just you know, set up in the uh, Docker things. And yeah, here you can see our uh, image got processing. Okay, so this command got executed. Uh, this things got executed here. Yeah, apt update, apt nginx installation. Uh, all things got you now executing. Uh, on database things 
Okay, okay. So it's executing properly. Let's see. Okay, so our um, make directory all things got completed. Successfully now Docker image also got completed. Okay, so our um, workflow got completed successfully. Let's see in this build image here you can find the all uh, installation steps. Okay, and then if you go instead of uh, login to Docker Hub in a sense that login credential how it log in that uh, Docker Hub. Okay, so those things you can get that log activity. Here you can see login succeeded. After that Docker push Docker image. Okay, so it pushing that Docker image into my Docker Hub. That you know that uh, SHA file size and yeah post docker setup okay so generally you know what is the post setup, setup in the sense uh, they are not keeping your data okay so github not going to keeping your data so they have to delete that is what you know post setup process so let's see here you can see as of now no uh, image is there in this repo so let's refresh it let's refresh it and then we can see okay so here you can see our name image got come over here okay so if you want to pull image nothing you can use the as usual command simple a docker pull uh, your container name with the image if you put it like that in the sense you can pull it i think this video um helpful to you so i'll see you in the next video uh, with the different topic okay for watching thank you all Bye.